describe in the book, which is related to this question, the quote, magical queuing system that keeps gender from ever reaching the head of the yes. line. So can you, based on this conversation we just had, can you kind of flesh out that argument and how that related to why you wanted to stick with? Yeah, with well, I mean, to, to go back to the, to the Labour Party, the Labour Party in the UK has been a very important party in terms of um, achieving the advances for women that there have been. Um, it, it was the party that really um, got the first equal pay legislation. It is a party that has done a lot of things for women. But it is also a party that arose out of the um, trades union movement. And the trades union movement um, has had very um, mixed history on this, uh, where a lot of male trade unionists actually opposed um, any kind of equalizing of the working conditions for women because they thought that women would come in and take their jobs. Mm. And that hostility is still actually built into the DNA of the party. And uh, th this is why you know, we now have a second female prime minister in the UK who is, of course, the second conservative woman to be prime minister, whereas the Labour Party has yet even to be led by a woman, except for, you know, Harriet Harman was, was acting leader of the party. And as someone joked, and I, I repeated in the book, uh, Labour could stage an all-women contest for the leadership and a man would still win. <laughs> Yeah, there is something about the left. I mean, we saw this, of course, in the United States, where you're a dual citizen, so you also yeah. vote there. And I, that's, I'm an American, so that's where I vote. Um, you know, with the Democratic Party and this role of Bernie Sanders, who was, you know, so lauded by so many people, including many young women, mysterious to me, even though he was pretty much doing a whole bunch of sexist stuff, you know. But he was, he felt like, he's on the left, you know, like labor feels yeah. like they're, they're on this good cause, so we can't possibly be but, holding but women back. The, right? the, this is, I mean, one of the re really big problems, and again, something very unusual, uh, not to say unique in the structure of the party, is we came out saying we are not on the left or the right of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. The fight for gender equality does not belong to the left. I mean, I personally have always been on the left in politics, but I had also covered politics close to, mm. and I realized that there were people in all of the parties who, who were really trying to work for this, but there were people in all of the parties mm. who were absolutely obstructing it. And the left in particular is, blind, is blinded by a belief in its own virtue. Mm. Um, and they also are the ones who get themselves into real tangles about, well, shall we do something for, um, uh, shall we do something on race first or shall we do something on gender? As if you can't do both. Or as, as if they aren't intersected. As if they aren't intersected, <laughs> as if it's a binary. Right.